Hey guys, welcome to this channel. This is Abhishek Mahamidi. Let's get started. What is explainable AI? In simple terms, explainable AI is understanding how a ML model has arrived to a particular dish. Why do you think understanding ML model is really important? Let me explain you. Because we are using these decisions to help business, right? And this business is going to turn into billion dollar revenue. If we just take a wrong decision, we might lose a lot of money. That's why understanding the drivers of a particular decision is really important in improving your business. Let's see what is explainable AI. On the right side, you can see the decision tree on Irish dataset. In Irish dataset, you have four features, petal length, petal width, sepal length and sepal width. And you have three classes, output classes which are Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica. This decision tree is generated using Iris dataset. Let's say if you have a new data point which has these features, petal length, petal width and sepal length and sepal width, you can easily traverse through this tree and tell whether it belongs to Setosa, Virginica or Versicolor. Because you know the rules, so let's say the petal length is less than or equal to 2.45, you just predict it as Setosa or else go to the right side of the tree and so on. Using these rules, you can easily explain why this belongs to Virginica, Setos or Versicolor. So if we use decision tree, we can easily explain how we have arrived at the final decision by just traversing through the tree from root node. But there are pros and cons of everything, right? So we have pros and cons for using decision tree as well. The explainability is very high. We can easily explain why this is predicting one of the classes, but the performance of the model is low because it is just a simple decision tree. But there are ways to improve this model by using bagging or boosting models. For example, we can use random forest or exiboost. Then what about explainability in this case? In general, we call these as black box models. The explainability is low when compared to decision trees, but performance of the model is high. So there is a trade off between two of them. We can either build a model that can explain the predictions very well or performance is good. We, we should choose one of them. To solve this problem, what researchers have done is that they have come up with different algorithms through which we can explain black box models. Using these algorithms, we can easily explain the drivers of Exibush model. I will show you one of them. So one of the algorithms we have is SHAP. Using SHAP, we can easily extract the drivers of complex algorithms like Exibush, LightGBM, or even neural networks as well. This is how the SHAP explainability for a new data point looks like. For a new data point, we can generate this plot using SHAP. What we can understand from this plot is, these are the features that are pushing the output higher and these are the features that are pushing the output lower. So using this, we are able to predict the model output as 24.41 and for a new data point we can easily understand which drivers are pushing higher and which drivers are pulling lower. This is one of the ways through which we can understand the drivers of complex algorithms. We can also apply SHAP on neural networks as well. I will also provide the link to SHAP documentation in the description below. Do check it out. This is really a useful library. In summary, what I want to tell is explaining the predictions is really important to trust your model. Let's say your model is predicting a class with 95% confidence and you don't know why your model is predicting with 95% confidence and you cannot use this as is because you are using these decisions to drive business. If you do one mistake, you can lose a lot of money and customers can lose trust in you. That's why it is very important to understand the drivers of a particular prediction. So there is a trade-off between explainability and accuracy. To solve these problems, as I said, we have some tools to explain the predictions of a black box models and we can achieve that using Lime or Sharp. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Meet you in the next video. Until then, keep learning.